ES Audio. Hi, I'm Rochelle Travers, and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, the impact of long space missions on astronauts' brains. Now, let's get into it. It's thought that a lack of a specific molecule found in the body could be speeding up the aging process. Taurine is an amino acid found in meat, fish, eggs, and is even added to some energy drinks. It plays an important role in supporting immune health, nervous system function, and energy production. The study by a team of international researchers found that taurine supplements can slow down aging in mice and monkeys, extending the healthy lifespan of middle-aged mice by up to 12%. The findings published in the journal Science make the case for further studies with human trials. President Joe Biden says the US is looking to the UK to lead the effort on how artificial intelligence is regulated. You have some of these leaders in the industry talking about how they're concerned whether the machine will be able to begin to think for itself, not need to be programmed. I mean, it's just, I know it sounds like science fiction, but it is close to science fiction, some of the things. It has enormous potential, and we're looking to Great Britain to help lead that effort to figure out a way through this. Speaking at a joint press conference with the Prime Minister at the White House, Biden highlighted AI's potential to do great damage if not controlled, but also its potential to do great things, such as one day possibly cure cancer. I don't think ever in the history of human endeavor has there been as fundamental potential technological change as is presented by artificial intelligence. It is staggering. It comes as Rishi Sunak announced the UK will host the first global summit on AI safety in the autumn, with Downing Street describing it as an opportunity for like-minded countries to come together on this issue. A weekend heat health alert has been raised from yellow to a more severe amber warning in parts of England. The amber warning issued by the UK Health Security Agency is now in place in eastern and southern England as well as the Midlands and will remain until 9am on Monday indicating high temperatures that could affect all ages and impact the health service. A less severe yellow alert, which advises people to check on vulnerable family and friends, is in place for the north of England and London. Now, there's been speculation for a while, but a new study suggests that long space missions are damaging astronauts' brains. Scientists from the University of Florida looked at brain scans of 30 astronauts, taken from before and after they travelled to space. They found that journeys over six months left the brain's ventricles significantly expanded. Researchers suggest that those who do spend long periods of time in space should then take three years to allow their brains to recover from the changes experienced during their journeys. Now, heading abroad on holiday this summer... Well, the likelihood of you experiencing turbulence on the plane is getting more likely according to a new study, and it's thanks to climate change. Research from the University of Reading has found that clear air turbulence has been getting more frequent over recent decades in numerous regions around the world. Scientists say that the warmer air from CO2 emissions is increasing wind shear in the jet streams, which is when the wind suddenly changes speed or direction in a small area. Clear air turbulence already costs airlines hundreds of millions a year, and experts say more investment is needed for research into the invisible phenomenon. Now. Researchers found that octopuses are able to beat the cold by editing their genetic material in less than a day. A team of international scientists carried out the study at the Marine Biological Laboratory in Chicago. They discovered that the creatures are able to make changes to their RNA, a complex molecule essential for life, within hours of being exposed to cold water. Previous studies have shown that squid and octopuses can edit their genes, but this is the first time scientists have established how rapidly these changes can occur. Let's go to the ads. Coming up, is Instagram jumping on the AI chatbot trend? And the extra benefits of curly hair. Why not hit rate and follow in the meantime? Welcome back. A mobile engineer claims that Instagram could be getting its very own AI chatbot. And it will have multiple personalities to choose from. Developer Alessandro Paluzzi shared a number of screenshots on social media where he claims to have discovered a chat with an AI feature on the platform, which is similar to the viral chatbot ChatGPT. Meta, Instagram's parent company, has declined to comment on whether or not Paluzzi's claims are true. But if correct, it would make them the latest of a number of growing tech giants working on incorporating the technology into their platform. Next. 
Whiskers on an elephant's trunk may help it feel and balance objects. A study from Humboldt University of Berlin in Germany found that elephant whisker follicles lack specialized features that are thought to help the brain detect delicate whisker movements. So instead, it suggests that their thick, immobile whiskers evolved to provide a haptically controlled action space for the extraordinary manipulative capacities of the trunk. Details of the study can be found in the communications biology. And finally. If you've got curly hair, it may have more benefits than you're aware of. A study suggests that this type of hair texture may have evolved in early humans living in Africa thousands of years ago to help people stay cool and protect them from the sun's harmful rays. Research found that tightly coiled hair can provide a barrier against solar radiation to protect the scalp and can help the human body conserve water by minimizing the need for sweating to stay cool. The study is published in the journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. You're up to date. Come back at 4pm for the Leader Podcast from the Evening Standard. We'll be back on Monday at 1pm. See you then.